If you're thinking of making a flowy, summery maxi dress for your little one this summer, you're in the right place. And this one is fully flared with adjustable straps. Let's see how to make it. First, we'll make the borders of, of this dress and for that, we'll make a pattern first. And here, I'm marking the measurements as you can see on the screen. And this is for a four to five year old kid. First, mark the vertical measurements, square of the lines, then mark the horizontal measurements. Here, for the chest, I'm marking 6.5 inches. And for the waist, I'm taking 6 inches. And then join the points. And I'm taking 1 inch of seam allowance. And for the waist, it is half an inch of seam allowance. Next, I'm making the armhole curve here. And here, it's only the front armhole which will be uh, needed. So, I just marked about a quarter inch inside the vertical line which we marked and then mark about 2 inches from the shoulder line and join it to the armhole curve line and take about a quarter inch inside to that line to avoid any gaping in the neck when we make the dress and give about half an inch of seam allowance above the line which we just made and then cut out the pattern so this will be the front pattern for the back pattern I'll just explain it later how we can manipulate from this. And your pattern is ready. Now this should be kept on hold when you're cutting the fabric. Now let's see how to cut on the fabric. Now the fabric is on fold along the width. Now I am folding it again along the length and now you can see the fabric requirements. I also used a plain fabric uh, just as an accent to the dress. Just keep the pattern over the fabric and cut. And this is on fourth fold as I told earlier because one uh, layer will be used as the main fabric and the other layer will be used as the lining. Now the front part of the bodice is ready. Just separating the pieces now for the back part just fold on the chest line like this and then keep it on the fabric and leave about half an inch of seam allowance above the chest line and then cut the fabric Make the notches. And here's a little bit of behind the scenes for you guys. And this is me cutting the accent fabric layers which will be used as a lace trim at the bottom of my dress. The length of this is 3 inches and the width is 2 times the width of the third layer of my skirt and this is totally uh, customizable and depend on how much gathers or volume you need for your skirt the dress and you can also totally skip it now we'll see the skirt calculation 
Now first you have to subtract the bodice length from the whole length of the dress. Here it is uh, 34 inches and the bodice length is 9 inches and the remaining is the 25 inches. Now I'm going to make 3 layers for this dress and you can make how many ever layers you want and then divide that many layers with the skirt length. Here it is approximately 8 inches and I added 1 inch for the seam allowance so it will be 9 inches. So the length of the layers will be 9 inches and for the width of the layers the first layer will be 1.5 to 2 times of the waist measurement. For example if the waist is 10 inches then it will be 20 inches. The second layer will be 2 times of that one. So 20 inches times 2 is 40 and it goes on to as many layers as you want. So here you can see the front bodice and the accent fabric, the back bodice, the first layer, second layer and the third layer. Now we'll see the making. First waist stitch the first layer along one side of the width. Then join the second layer pieces together. Now you may or may not have to attach uh, pieces together to make the tiers. It all depends on the volume you take for the skirt and the size you're making it for. Now gather the fabric according to the first tiers measurement. Then with right sides together make a stitch. Now when you attach the layers together, adjust the gathers with the pin or with your fingertip so that it is nice and evenly distributed. Now once you are done, just finish the raw edges and remove the basting threads. Here I have finished the edges with the hobo locker. And now we have to repeat the same step for the third layer. For the third tier, first I joined my lace trim fabric. Uh, I attached the pieces together on the short ends. Then I made a half an inch hem by folding quarter inch of the fabric twice. Now once you're done with right sides together, stitch them both and I made small pleats like this as I went. You can also gather the fabric and then attach it as we did for the first two layers. And when you are done, finish the raw edges and make a top stitch so that it will lay nice and flat. Now gather the other end of the fabric and once you are done match it with the second layer and make a stitch. Distribute the gathers evenly. Now let's see the bodice construction and here I am trying to stitch the strap but before that I just want to show you how to loop in the strap into the adjustable hooks. Now we have to take two lengths for the strap, one longer one and one shorter one. Here I've taken eight inches for the longer one and four inches for the shorter one. And you need two hooks like this for the strap. First take the rectangular one, loop your strap through it over the center ridge like this. Then loop the ring like this. Take the strap and you have to pull through the underside of the ridge. When you do that, just 
loosen up the above part of the strap so that it will be a little bit easier to pull through under it. fold a little bit of that end and make a stitch on the under part of the strap only then you have to take the shorter strap and loop it through the ring like this and that end will be attached to the front bodice the longer end will be attached to the back bodice now let's make a stitch make sure that you're stitching only the under part of the strap shorter part of the strap like this and sandwich it in between the main and the lining layers of the front bodice leave half an inch for seam allowance from the edge and pin it make a stitch around the armhole and the neckline Cut off the extra strap parts and make small slits along the seam line. Turn it right side out. Now let's make a top stitch so that all lays down nice and flat. Next, mark 4 inches from the center of the back bodice and make a notch. This will be the point where we will align the straps on. And then with right sides together, align the strap on the notches we just made like this. Match the center notch and then make a stitch. stitch
next i will attach the waist trim to the main layer of the front bodice here i'm making one inch trim so i've taken two and a half inches in length and this is totally customizable you can have it as thick or as thin as you want just adjust the length of the fabric according to your needs and make a stitch on both the sides of the trim once you're done trim off the excess fabric if you have and line up the bodices front and back with right sides together matching the bodice seam and the armhole seam of the back and the front respectively and make a stitch This will give a neat finish both inside and outside. Repeat the same on the other side of the bodice. And here a bodice is ready. Now you have to gather the first tier of the fabric according to the waist measurement of the bodice. make a center back seam just make a stitch now with the right sides together align the bodice and the skirt on the waist and make the stitch all around Once we are done with this, our dress is complete. We just finish the raw edges with the serger or zigzag stitch. And as you can see, a full flared maxi dress for your little one is all nicely and neatly done. It is very beautiful, very flowy and very summery. Your little one will be so beautiful in this. You guys gotta try this. I hope you all liked watching this video please do like share and comment and if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more such beautiful makings in the future thank you so much bye bye